Hello, hi. How's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm lovely, thank you. How are you? Great. Um, Great. Yeah, so uh, you mentioned in your audition video that you came from kind of like a musical theater background. So yeah, tell us correct. a little bit more about that and how you transitioned into what you're doing now. Sure, absolutely. So I grew up in Uxbridge, Ontario, and I was fortunate enough to be involved in a very, very rich uh, artistic community. There was like 6,000 people, but six theater companies. So it was like that was our after school. And I feel very, very, very privileged to have that experience. Um, and then when it came time to go to college, well, at, at that time, I was uh, taking guitar lessons and singing like constantly. Um, and then it came time for college. And I was like, well, what do I enjoy doing? What do I love to do? And it was theater. So I went to Sheridan for, for a one-year preparation program and then a four-year Bachelor of Musical Theater. Um, while I was there, fell, in, fell out of love with theater, fell in love with performance, and really started to hone my craft of writing, uh, writing plays and songs and songwriting. And then I got out uh, into the big, beautiful world and the world shut down. <laughs> so I... Uh, so I got uh, majorly involved in uh, writing my own material, and I released my last, my first single last this time last year, February. So Matthew, are you nervous? Uh, how could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> so who are who are some of your favorite like um, musical influences? Like who's oh, your favorite band? Artist? Kurt Cobain, by chance? You Cobain. like Kurt Cobain? <laughs> um that was a poster that i picked up i a uh, cobain yeah he's cool but he's not my favorite my uh joni mitchell james taylor harry chapin uh gordon lightfoot that kind of uh seven sixty seventies 70s uh songwriters but storytellers that's mm -hmm. what really captures my heart and then and then also pantera and system of a down oh so, okay quite a quite a mix <laughs> yeah yeah so awesome so what are you gonna play for us today so I'm going to play a song that I wrote called Cherry Street. Uh, it's about um, the feeling of, it's about a weight being lifted off your shoulders, but you're still uncertain about this new world that you're entering into. Cool. And just a, a verse chorus. Just a verse chorus. Please. Yes. So drag my bones to your Wally Stone and we'll drink our sorrows dry. Watch a bottle black burn fly at the end Could I fall down at your feet? Rock me slow and steady, pull me close and let me breathe again, be again, love me then. Pull me over gently, stick around, don't let me stray again, play again, love me then. Let me stay again, play again, love me Love me Matthew, James, everybody. <laughs> All right, great job. We are gonna go right to the judges for feedback. We're gonna start with you, Shane. How are you doing? Good, yourself? Good, so <clears throat> I kind of went all over the place because at first, I don't know if it really caught my attention. I think it's more, if, if I heard you play that live in front of me, I think it would have a different feel and vibe. And, and that's what kind of sucks, but everyone's in the same boat, right? 
Uh, but you know what? As the song progressed, I like some of the stops and starts and some of the changes in your voice. Again, because it's by Zoom, you lose a little bit. Some things are pitchy. Um, so I'm kind of like lukewarm to it. Like there were moments I didn't like, and then there were moments I was like, yeah, I really like this guy. So that's all I'm going to say right now. Right. It's kind of a little bit all over. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, I'll, first of all, I'll say nothing uh, makes you fall out of love with uh, theater than going to theater school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, been there and dropped out of the Humber College Theater Performance Program after a year. So I was like, I'm not spending another three years with these psychos. Uh, so uh, I, too, am a theater kid. I understand you. I hear you. I feel you. You're a hell of a performer. Again, you know, it was, I felt like I was like on a, like a, like, you know, that scene in Ace Ventura when he's like all over the place. Or I was getting kind of bumpy. Yeah. It's a little bumpy here. <laughs> uh, um, it was like, cause when you first started, I'm like, oh, here we go. No one of the coffee shop acoustic talks. And, uh, and then you kind of really went for it and then came back. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, again, I think the biggest note for you is you're a hell of a performer. You're in the right space in terms of performance. Um, again, there were some pitch issues with Zoom and all that kind of stuff, but that's all I'm going to say for now. But uh, you're you're not alone in, in hating theater after going to theater school. Trust me. Okay, thank you. I feel I feel comforted. Validated. That. Validated. That's the word. Thank you, Kate. So I totally disagree with the guys. I think that you have like a really great energy, and I think your song's super interesting and different, and that's what I really like about it. Thank um, you. You have a really strong voice. You actually remind me a lot of an artist I used to work with named Jared Stanley. Um, very similar, positive vibes, like good energy. Um, yeah, I really liked the performance. Thank you kindly. I appreciate that. Jen. Jen's missing. I miss, I'm not missing, I'm here. Um, Matthew, I think you're sweet and you do have a ton of energy um i uh i like that i like to see that in a performer you're so engaging however i have to disagree with kate i don't think the song is there it's not ready um i feel like i went through about three different genres and five different influences um and uh it's it it, there's no there's no story to it. I'm sorry, but that's I know that sounds really really hard. I, as I say, like the qualities that you have as a as a an artist and a personality are something that is great. But I think the song needs work, and the, honestly, the performance a little bit needs work. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you, uh, CJ. Well, I think the reason I think the reason why Shane is lukewarm is that he needs to put more clothes on. Uh, but I, I, I agree with, I agree with Kate. I like your voice. I also agree with Jen that this song could use, uh, a, not a bit, a lot of work, but I do like the quality of your voice and I do like your vibe and energy a lot. I think you're a natural performer. Uh, I agree with Shane that this would probably be a lot different if we were in person. Um, you're really interesting. You're really cool. Uh, I, I like you a lot, Matthew. Thanks, CJ. Appreciate it. You bet. So, CJ, is that a yes or a no from you? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes. Eric. Yes. Shane. I'm gonna say no. Kate. Totally yes. Jen. No. Okay, that is three votes out of five, and that means you make it through. Congratulations. All right. Thank, you. Thank you kindly. All right, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Scott <laughs> Rookie. I can breathe. Okay. <laughs> but Matthew, Matthew, you gotta you gotta do something about the nerves, man. Yes. Slow, yeah. slow it slow it down. Do something about the nerves. You're a theater kid. You sh you shouldn't be afraid of anything. It's just a bunch of us losers trying to judge you for the, your dreams goals. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so, it. Eh? Okay. That's it. So, but you're fine, dude. Just this just remember that feeling that you get when you walk out on stage and bring that to us through the camera. And that's the only thing you need to do more of. And awesome. do Oxbridge Oxbridge proud. Thank you. I will. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah, see you soon.